Nightline continues from New York City with Bill Weir. Well, this week we announced the winner of our hotly contested People's Plateless competition to find the country's best unsung local chef. And then we traveled to Ackworth, Georgia to meet the winner. It is a charming little town where life moves at a fairly deliberative pace, with the exception of one corner on Main Street at dinner time. <laughs> I'm a red Cajun. That's what you call it. Kind of a red Cajun. It's kind of a mix. A little bit of redneck, a little bit of Cajun. Just a red Cajun. We love fried food. Hell yeah, we're from Louisiana, baby. We'll fry your kids if we get a chance. Trust me. We got some wonderful fresh spinach we got right here. Going to our 350 degree fryer. Wonderful sea scallops. We're going to dust them in a little bit of Zatarain's fish fry. Nice hot smoking pan. These scallops need to be mid-rare. We're not going to cook them very long. You're probably going to have them in for a uh, maximum two to three minutes. As you know, in Louisiana, we like to fry things. There ain't no doubt about it, Bobby. Scallops are getting almost ready to turn. Take a peek. Looking great. We're going to turn them over. Beautiful golden brown. Hallelujah. My dad. He was a farmer. He's the one that instilled... Uh, he's an entrepreneur. He's the one that really instilled in me that... You know, even though he wanted me to be a civil engineer, and even though he didn't really fancy the cooking that we did, you know, he didn't think that was going to be a good career for me, you know, because to him, that wasn't a manly thing. But uh, seeing him get up every day of his life at 4.30 in the morning, go to work, get it done. You know, I figured that if he could do it, you know, he instilled that in me, hard work's going to pay off. So we made the plunge. We did what every American does. We decided to risk everything on a small venture. I mean, that's how America's built. We're going to put a little bit of granulated garlic with it. We're going with our powdered sugar on it, cinnamon with it. We're going to plate it up. It's very simple. All we're doing is coming with our plate. Now we're going to add our uh, scallops to it. Beautiful sea scallops. Easy to prepare. Remember, don't overcook them. Ever, ever, ever. These are red peppers, sweet red peppers that we're putting on. Blue cheese crumbles. Our sweet soy molasses. Enjoy it, ladies and gentlemen. Mmm. You have babies. One of the best names. Come and see me. Annie Castell. Oh. She was a great woman. She was uh, the one that raised us. My mother was a Southern Belle. Uh, my mother slept till noon every day, but uh, Wednesdays, and she went to the beauty parlor. My nanny, on the other hand, was there at about 5 o'clock every morning. She got breakfast started. She uh, made sure daddy's coffee was made. She made sure that the kids were dressed for school. Nanny's the one that put the band-aids on us. She's the one that puts on the bus. Um, she's the one that sewed the clothes. She was a good woman. <sighs> Sorry. She's the one that... Um, She's the one that taught me how to cook. The first time she, I got to cook with her was uh, chicken and dumplings. I was about uh, 10 years old, and she finally let me do it myself. I fed uh, 18 farm hands, my dad, uh, the farm foreman, and that was it. That's where it started. Fudge shrimp going into our half and half mixture. Orchers going into the mixture, and then we've got some good Louisiana crawfish. We're going to soak them in there for, as you see, as quick as we can get them in and quick as we can get them out. They're going into our Zatarain's mix right here. Then we're going to go over here to the fryer, drop them in 350 degrees, and get them going. All right, we're going to start off with our garlic-infused rosemary oil. We're going to come in here with our fresh spinach. We're going to pop it in. You can hear it sizzling. Once you get your spinach, just wilt it down just a little bit. We're going to come back with our Tasso, Louisiana, Boston Bud Ham, smoked, one garlic clove. That's all we're doing. That's all you need. Put them into our dish. The secret recipe I shouldn't even be telling you. Food to me means happiness, energy, soul. It's part of you. It's part of what makes you not only live, but it's part of, you. It's part of your soul. It's part of your heart. We're going to pull our seafood up, pop it into our little drainer. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's absolutely stunning. Pop it in. While we're doing that, we're going to come back with our secret Henry's Cajun Alfredo sauce. There we go. We got it in. We're going to turn it down. Toss in our ooh la la, getting it ready right here. We're going to come back with our angel hair pasta. Perfectly cooked. 
And here we go, baby. Ooh la la. Absolutely the best thing you'll ever eat at Henry's Louisiana Grill. We call it sex on a plate, baby. Yeah, come on. What it means is community. It means friends, family. Everybody has come together so much for us. That's what the playlist is. Friends, family, and everybody that cared about us, and everybody that's ever eaten it here one time, a thousand times, our regulars. It doesn't make any difference. That's what a playlist is. It's putting them all on one big plate, and that's the best thing about it. Thank you for making me the playlist winner. Thank you, America, and everybody that voted for me. <laughs> Congratulations to Henry Chandler. Brothers got soul to spare. And thank you to all of you who entered and voted for the People's Plate List. When we come back.